Welcome back, Vagabonds. I am now here in Lisbon in the Blime District. And when you are here, you definitely need to try a Pastel de Blime, which most of you might know as a Pastel de Nada, but this is the original curation of this dessert. So we'll do a little tour of Blime and see what we can find. All right, so what's better than one pastel de nata or one pastel de blime? It'd be two. So I am here at Pastache de Blime. It's the origination of the uh, first uh, blime and uh, you know, going into the different natas that are around Portugal. So, bon appetit. Mm. Very, very crunching. Very, very good. Today, we're exploring Lisbon's Geronimos Monastery, a UNESCO World Heritage Site bursting with history and stunning architecture. Unravel tales of the monastery's marvels from Manueline architecture to tranquil cloisters. Discover the final resting place of notable figures like explorer Vasco da Gama and poet Luis de Camões within the monastery. Their tombs contribute to the richness of this must-visit destination, where history, art, and spirituality harmonize in Lisbon's Belém district. Every corner shares a story. Venture into the church's hallowed halls, resonating with echoes of centuries past. Marvel at grand stained glass windows and ornate carvings showcasing Portugal's rich history. Witness the symbiotic blend of spirituality and architectural prowess that defines this iconic landmark. Monastery stands as a testament to Portugal's historical significance and a captivating chapter in global exploration. So take the lessons that are learned from these previous explorers in your journeys through Lisbon. So I hope that you enjoyed the, those little food dishes that I had. I had to stop and get some food as I was walking around. Ended up getting a taco, as you saw, and then got some paella. So you can get some street food while you're walking around. And then you can get, you know, a real lunch and real dinner when you're walking around in the Belime District. Heading back to downtown area. Right now I'm in a really neat area that's called the LX Factory. 
you definitely need to check out this area. This is beautiful and I'll show you around a little bit. So the LX factory is kind of like a collaboration uh, art in area that has different things being created here. Got some bizarre stuff that you can find here for sale. So it's kind of like a little art startup places. There's some areas where people can learn how to do drawing and different artistic endeavors also. So it's a really cool creative spot. It has a lot of very cool energy that's going along with it. Nice little creative space. If you are going to Blime, I definitely would check out the LX factory and just kind of walk around. We didn't eat here, but I would definitely come back here, probably come back here tomorrow to check out some food items here. A lot of the places here look really, really good. Uh, so I, I ended up eating out towards uh, the Blime area. Uh, so. Uh, I kind of wish that I was here, but I had some good food, which I showed you. I hope that you enjoyed going into the monastery, over to the church, and all over the Blime District. And if you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and until then, I'll catch you on the next one. Atemiyah.